Okay, this is a quick one. Uh, some people have asked, how do we make coloured signs? Feel free to apply the Wadsworth constant to this video if you want. Uh, what uh, you need to do, it's actually very simple, all you need to do is when you're making a sign, you just simply put a colour code in front of it. Colour code is an ampersand and then a hexadecimal digit. Hexadecimal is uh, 0 to F inclusive. Um, I think this probably came about because I put this sign on our shop. This is the shop that we've been doing all our stuff with. So um, let's just go, go through it quickly. I don't have anything. So let's make some basic stuff. Crafting table. Let's get some sticks. And um, basically throw some signs together. All we have to do, and I should point out that all this stuff is linked in the video, at the bottom of this video I should say. So there shouldn't be any dramas here. So, all we need to do is look at the link and we will see that, for example, AND1 is dark blue. And two is dark green, and three is teal, and four red. Just like that. Now, some colours don't work well on signs. As you can see, the green and teal are quite hard to read. But, um,. Good ones are purple, I, I found it tends to look good, which is N5. Um, gold, I don't know, N6 is gold. N7 is grey, you won't see that one. N8, dark grey. Now these don't need to be on, on one line, but you still have a character limit, so you can go see red and then have black on the same line but you do have the character limit so you can't go too enthusiastic B, oops, and B, aqua and D, pink aqua I tend to think is the colour that stands out the most you'll notice that's the colour I put out the front and a bright green. What else have we done? And a oops. See that's out the issue. And a yellow. These colours here stand out quite well. Bright green as you can see. And the aqua stand out the most. That's pretty much it. Very easy. No problems at all. Thanks.